All right, 904 right now, and joining us now to answer your pet questions, we have Dr. Kim Hammond in this, the house. You know, hey. this is one of the this is one of the great moments to be in a veterinarian. Look when you at, can when you can have a big her. old little teddy bear oh like a gosh, newfie she puppy. Is. What, uh, this is Raven. This is Raven. What type of dog is she? It's a Newfoundland. It's a, a Newfoundland. It's, and let me tell you something about Newfoundlands and, and large breed dogs in general. And everybody in the audience should know this. There are a couple things you need to know. First, the time to spay the dog. Wait for a year because we really, a lot of these dogs are prone to hip dysplasias and elbow dysplasias. Mm. And one of the reasons we think that occurs is because we spay them too early and the bones don't have enough time to grow the proper length. Mm -hmm. So spay them in a year. Now here's another very important thing. They get bloat, their stomach turns on itself and mm. it's a very serious disease. When you spay a dog, you can actually tack the stomach so it doesn't spin. Mm -hmm. But not every veterinarian can do it. Not every veterinarian knows how to do it. And I personally use a veterinarian in town called Ron Fallon. Okay. He's a surgeon, he'll come to your veterinarian's hospital but I, I would not let necessarily any veterinarian tack your dog's stomach. Oh my gosh. I'd call a specialist. A oh, specialist, okay. Yeah. She's so soft, she's 11 weeks, her name is Raven, not up for adoption. <laughs> and she's not, yeah, and, and she's not playing she's in the NFL either. Broad Sorry. chested, what's that about? Well, you know, that's deep the chested. deep chested dogs. Yeah. That's about the bloat, the okay, tendency to that. bloat for stomachs yeah. to turn, yep. All okay. right. Yep. Now. Talk to us about this uh, tapeworm that's going around. Okay. It's a zoonotic tapeworm, yeah, meaning a, we a, can get this. There's a very serious tapeworm. It's shown up on the border of Maryland in Virginia, and it's an iconococcus. It's a tapeworm that spreads really in, in the foxes and, and the coyotes. But if your dog is an outside dog, if it goes out in the woods and so on and so forth, you know, it can potentially, sniffing around, pick up a tapeworm. Mm -hmm. Here's the deal, without worrying about it, because it's a serious tapeworm. Just get your dog, if your dog is an outdoor dog that runs free, get your dog's poop checked a couple times a year and look at the poop. See if there's little white specks in mm, it mm -hmm. because white specks are a sign of tapeworm. You said a famous celebrity got this. A very, I don't want to mention his name, but okay. he got a very famous designer who, you, who everybody wears okay. and is in all the stores, got it and it was in his head created a, uh, a brain tumor, which he, they operated on and he's fine. Yeah, okay. But so yeah, no, he picked it up. It can it be up. pretty serious, yeah. all right. You can get it from sushi too. Oh, from sushi too. Sushi! Oh, I just had sushi, I don't wanna hear that. There are no fish <laughs> meat inspectors, sorry. Uh, all right, right, let's. we have one question here. <laughs> okay. Uh, the question is, I really want to get a ferret. Are, there, are they good pets? What basic <laughs> health care do they need? First of all, they're hysterical, great pets if you're a ferret person. But here's the deal about a ferret. Man, you got to watch them. Mm. They are swipers. If you have your ferret running swiper around your no house. Swiper no swiping. Yeah, I mean, swiper no swiping. No, this is, that's true. If you're in the kitchen and you're cooking food for your, your kid and your kid's got the ferret and the ferret suddenly is not paying attention to the ferret, that ferret will slip under something. It'll uh. eat something. It'll, oh, they're a mess. But they're hysterical. But they're also swiper no swiping. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. They're great they're pets. Rascals. Now, there is one veterinarian in town. His name is Michael Herco. He actually works at the Falls Road Animal Hospital. You don't have to go see him. You can call him. You can email him. You can text him. But he is the top ferret vet. And if you're going to get a ferret, I'd call him about all the okay. what to do. What to do. All right, all right, Raven, thank you so much. This is a great oh, day. This is a great dog. day. All right. Oh, man.